I do up here, the most electrifying man on YouTube Entertainment is back inside the Do Up Workshop to talk about none other than Do Up's favorite, Lucha Underground. Now, I know what you're saying to yourself. You're like, Do Up, what the hell are you talking about? Lucha Underground isn't coming back until the summertime. Brand new episodes of Lucha Underground on the L Ray Network coming this summer. So, what the hell are you talking about, Lucha Underground, for? And I'll tell you, that's right. A lot happened in the beginning part of season three that I want to talk about and I want to review. And right now, Do Up wants to run down the list that I made of the top five heel finishes. That's right. All those bad guys out there that you love, all those badass heels that you guys love, that's what Do Up is here to talking about. And well, frankly, I wore my ultimate heel t-shirt. That's right. The ultimate heels of the galaxy here, Darth Vader and Boba Fett. That's why we're here talking about heels, damn it, and all of their dastardly and dirty deeds that happened this season on Lucha Underground. We're going to talk about what Doop thought were the top five heel finishes. And while some of these are mm, 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 just dastardly. Number five coming in on Doop's top heel wins on Lucha Underground season three was the monster Matanza Cueto going up against the Mac. That's right. This happened early on in episode number three of Lucha Underground season three part one. That's right. And it was Dario's Dial of Doom. That's right. Whoever the Dial's uh, name landed on got a Lucha Underground championship match against the champion the monster Matanza Cueto. Just so happened Dario spun that dial and landed on the Mac. One of Doop up's favoritist, and now the Mac gets his title shot against the monster Matanza Cueto. But here's why I think that this was like an ultimate heel win because the monster is just this madness creature of a man. And when he delivered the Wrath of the Gods finishing move, he leveled the Mac, pinned him one, two, three. But stop right there, do up, pop that brakes. Woo, woo, woo. What happens at the end of? Season 3, Part 1. The Mac is now the number one contender to the Lucha Underground Championship. So the Mac, despite that ultimate heel win of the Monster Matanza Cueto, leveling the Mac, the Mac is now the number one contender. That just shows to me that no matter how dastardly of a win the Monster Matanza Cueto got over the Mac, the Mac can come back. The problem was the Mac really got his ass beat in that match. Ooh. Coming in number 4 on Duo. Up's top five list of heel wins was the Monster Matanza Cueto going up against Puma. That's right. Now, the Monster Matanza Cueto was this wrecking ball of a machine of a man. And well, he didn't need help, but he got it. That's right. The Monster Matanza Cueto picked up the win in this match over Prince Puma because of Will Muertes. That's right. This rivalry between Will Muertes and Prince Puma re-erupted back when Will Muertes popped his head into this match. And well, after Puma nailed the 630 on the Monster Matanza Cueto, we thought we were going to get a win out of Prince Puma and the Lucha Underground Championship back around Puma's waist. Well, mm -mm, afraid I've got some bad news. That's when Will Muertes interfered in this match, gave Puma the spear, a flatliner. Then the Monster Matanza Cueto, Wrath of the God, pinned Puma 1, 2, 3. That was a heel win and a half. Number three on two ups list of top five heel wins, Lucha Underground, the beginning of this season, was Will Muertes going up against Prince Puma. Oh, man. This was the Grave Consequences match. And well, you want to talk about Grave Consequences, this is what it's about. Because essentially a Grave Consequences match is like a casket match. And at the end of this match, that ultimate heel, Will Muertes, took Puma off the ring apron with a choke slam through two tables, a flatliner on the temple floor, picked Puma's lifeless body up, shoved him in the casket and closed it down. That's right. Will Muertes picked up the win against Puma in this ultimate heel win. Now the next two on two ups list actually kind of pained me because this was terrible. 
Number two coming in on the list was Johnny Mundo versus Sexy Star for the Gift of the Gods Championship belt. Now, if you remember the Gift of Gods Championship belt, kind of like money in the bank, you can get your title shot when you want it if you are the Gift of the Gods Champion. Well, Sexy Star was the Gift of the Gods Champion, and she put that belt on the line against Johnny Mundo. And now, if we're talking about heel wins... I bet you already know what happens. Johnny Mundo is in the ring with Sexy Star, and of course, the Worldwide Underground had to get involved in this match. Jack Evans distracting the referee with a chair, and the, and the ref is arguing with him over the chair back and forth. Gave Johnny Mundo the chance, the opportunity to reach down deep in his tights, pull out those brass knuckles, level Sexy Star, throws the knuckles out of the ring, pins her, one, two, three. Johnny Mundo is the new Gift of the Gods champion. Oh, man. Talk about a fucking heel win. Number one, coming in on Doop's top five list of ultimate heel wins was again Johnny Mundo going up against Sexy Star, except this time. It's for the Lucha Underground Championship. One week removed from when Sexy Star won that championship belt at the Aztec Warfare. Johnny Mundo along with Taya this time of the Worldwide Underground, really pulled a fast one on Sexy Star. That's right. Sexy Star, Johnny Mundo, battling it out. Taya in the crowd, disguised as a fan, wearing a Sexy Star mask. Johnny Mundo rips the crutch out of her hand. Sexy Star goes over, checks to see if that fan's all right. She pulls out the breast knuckles, knocks her in the mouth. Johnny Mundo throws Sexy Star in the ring. End of the world. One, two, three, and no! Lucha Underground Champion Johnny Mundo. Oh man, Sexy Star got screwed. Taya wearing that Sexy Star mask fooled everybody. She gets in the ring, tears the mask off. Everybody's pissed. It's Taya. Then the whole Worldwide Underground comes out. There with PJ Black and Jack Evans, all four of them celebrating in the ring like a bunch of jack wagons. Man, what a bunch of heels. All right, guys. That was Drew Up's list of the top five heel wins from Lucha Underground. Whichever way you want to look at it, at the beginning of season three, it really looked like the heels were in control. Let me know what you guys think of the top five heel wins. I thought that those were pretty appropriate. The only one that I think that may have, should have made the list maybe, was the Monster Matanza Cueto going against El Dragon Azteca Jr. on episode 19 where he threw him through the bleachers. That was pretty fucking crazy too. All right, guys. Do up. I'm out of time. I got to get to moving. Like the video. Leave a comment. Tell me what you thought of my list. And if you haven't done it already, subscribe for some more fun. I can do it, man. Yeah.